today's video we're going to be working on meeting situations looking at the road when should you give way where should you give way so let's get some driving done so we'll have a look round we're going to move off so while we're driving along the road i'll just talk about what's going on so if you're going to go past the parked cars remember look beyond them make sure it's safe to get through so if, if we're going past parked cars on the left have a look at the road make sure there's no cars coming towards you or cyclists or motorbikes anything on the road that's going to affect you to making you slow down if you do go around a parked car a door's width is what you want to do and one of the things people do on the driving test is they'll give way to a car coming through and then they'll pull off and they'll hit the parked car and it's all that clearance so give at least a door's width or a meter whatever works for you give them that space but don't get too close to the parked car they'll try and squeeze through a gap they'll get too close to the car they might even clip the wing mirror on the left I'm gonna go left at the end and we're just gonna look at the road what's going on remember if in doubt just slow down and give way be safe centre mirror right but as you get better and better with your driving you better judge the the spaces how fast cars are going and it'll give you a better idea overall with what you should be doing because what confuses lots of people is should I go shouldn't I go should I give way if I give way will the examiner fail me um, think safety that's what you've got to keep saying think safety it's like here there's a truck pulling out if I was closer I'd be giving way that white car on the left I'd be keeping an eye on what's happening behind me he's sticking out a little bit for the truck there I'm going to go right turn because I can't go ahead. Send some mirror right there. Signal in, slowing down for a second. Looking at the road. Now I'm slowing down here and giving way because I can't get through. And now I'm going to pull forward. I can pull forward um, and there's a gap in the middle between the left and right cars. I'm going to slow down by the twin side of the road, which gives the car ahead of me time to come through. So I'm slowing down here. And I've got a little position, not too close to the car in front of me. There's your space. I'm going to pull out. Nice big turn. Hold the clutch still. And straighten myself up. Now, if that blue car would have waited up here, it would have been, would have been a lot easier. Because there's only space for two cars. So when you do commit yourself, you've got to make sure you've got the space. The blue car on the end went on the pavement because he realises no space and he's gone a bit too far. He should have waited up the road. These are the things you're going to come across all the time and you've got to look, can you go through safely? If you can, great. If you can't, you should be giving way. And it's the same for everything. And that's a difficult situation then where you're thinking, where do we give way? I gave way at the bottom of the hill initially and then I pulled forward to the middle because there's space in the middle and then gave way again. So we're going to go left at the roundabout. So the centre mirror left. Checking to be right, still clear, so I'm going to carry on going. Slowing down for his people on the zebra rear. Quite an interesting one, you know. If, one of the new rules is if people are waiting to cross, then give way to them. When they're on the crossing, let them get off the crossing before you move off. Which I'm sure you already do, but that's one of the new rules, you know. I mean, I've been teaching people for years, if people are approaching and they're going to cross, start slowing down anticipation because they're going to step out. So nothing's new there. So don't worry about the pedestrian crossing one. Just do what you've been told, which is slow down and anticipate. And I'm going to go ahead at this little roundabout. I'm slowing down because I can't see. I can see now so I can go. I'm going to be going right turn coming up, sensor mirror, right mirror, signalling. I'm going to get myself in that middle lane where it's safe. I'm going to drop to a low gear. There's a little bit of road works on the right there. I'm going to give way to this car because I'm not going to be able to make it. It's too tight, so I'm going to wait. Because if I pull in front of him, there's a risk that he's going to slow down. That white one on the left is also a risk, but he's pulling off slowly, so I can easily make that one. So he's pulling off the same speed as me and I'm looking at the road road works on the right 
So if car was going round, I'd have to give way because there's not enough space for two cars there. And there's also the risk where pedestrians might be walking because there's a footpath closed. I'm going to go left turn, centre mirror left. And bring it around, park car, looking at the road, checking my right mirror, giving the doors width we talked about. Checking my left mirror to come back in. Back to third gear, you know, appropriate speed, so don't dilly dally and go slow. A few parked cars on the bend, so I'm checking my mirror and slowing down for a second. Quite a few more parked cars, and it's like a learner car moving up the road, and some of the headlights on also there. So I'm taking my time, giving myself space to weave between. I'm going to slow down a little bit here. Yeah, white car is pulling out, so I'm going to slow down, letting get out of the way. Nothing happening behind me. Looking up the road, and I'm going round, giving myself space taking my time because I can't see what's beyond the brow of the hill there checking my mirror coming back in a bit looking at the road looking down the road now checking my mirror to come out and a little bit of power to get past these cars I don't want to kind of take my time too long checking my mirror to come back in we're going to go right at the end of the road slowing down for them Checking my right mirror to come out. Right at the end, centre mirror right. And I can't see, so I'm slowing down for first. That's why I can't see, there's a car there now. And then I'm making a move. And I'll left turn here, mirror signal left. Following it round, keeping it nice and tight. Second gear I'm in. Not going too fast and doing 10 miles an hour then. Left at the end of the road centre mirror left, slowing myself down, braking, checking, and I'm back to third gear now I'm going, and I'm looking up the road, there's a few parked cars in the distance, I can see them on the left, red one to start with, followed by the dark blue one, looking up the road, I'm looking for cars coming down at the moment, so I'm looking beyond the, the road, that's clear at the moment, so I'm getting on with it. Not going super fast, but I'm doing 25 mile an hour. But I'm expecting maybe a car to come around the corner at the top of the hill. But I'm going past these cars. I've seen on the wrong side of the road, so I'm giving that good doors width. So if anyone opens the door, I'm not going to take it off. And because of the bend, I'm slowing down a little bit. Dropping down to second gear, because I can't see what's around the corner back down to 18 miles an hour, left at the end of the road, centre mirror left, signalling, following that curb, check in, check in, check in, definitely clear, mirrors to the right, signal right, telling that car nice and early. Nice big turn to get myself round. And a few more parked cars ahead of us on the left and right, I can see them. A car on the left, half on the kerb. Checking the road, checking my right mirror again, give a door's width. There's a couple of parked cars again on the bend. So I'm not going super fast, because I can't see what's beyond the bend at the moment. And it looks like it's getting clear at the moment. If you've enjoyed the video on meeting situations, pretty straightforward, remember, golden rule is, if you can see beyond it safely and you know you can get past it, then do it. But give it a door's width. If you can't see beyond the park cars, slow down a bit more. If you see a car in the distance, who looks like he's going to get there the same time as you, then take the initiative. Slow down, let him go, rather than force him to stop. Because if you force the oncoming car to stop and it's their side of the road, then you're in the wrong. And if you're on the driving test, you'll get serious. Good luck on the driving. I hope this helps you. It does. Give it a thumbs up and see you on the next video.